Hi guys, Darren the Window Cleaner, Green Pro Clean Limited, Window Cleaners in Nottingham, Derbyshire and South Yorkshire. Today we are discussing the sodium hypochlorite. This is one of the questions that I've been asked many times as well. How do you soft wash? And to be quite honest, if you're asking me and you can't be bothered to Google it and go through the reams and reams and reams of articles and videos that are already out there, you should probably stay away from it. Sodium hypochlorite, um, aka uh, hypo, this is the farm grade version, red label, 15% strength. Now this is an old barrel that's been in my garage for about a year, and a lot of people will sit back and go, oh yeah, but hypo deteriorates. What they don't understand is that hypo will deteriorate from 15% down to about 10%, which is usually what you're getting from your swimming pool companies and stuff. Um, so this should still be good at around 10%. We are actually going to uh, clean up the driveway, and uh, we've started this project today, oops, and uh, still getting to grips with this. Uh, we're going to clean up the driveway, get all this crap out of the way, get it cleared up, it's spring clean time. My drive's been awfully neglected for the past um, year because I've been that crazy busy. But it's concrete stone driveway. And uh, as you can see over here from where the bin stand and that, no algae. That's basically what concrete should look like. And green and covered in absolute crud from where it's not protected. So what we're going to do is we're going to soft wash it. But I'm going to disappoint you. There's no great big fancy machines here. There's none of that. It's uh, literally going to be... Um, let's start with all the tools we're going to need. Hose pipe, watering can. That's about it. Uh, my stiff brush is over yonder against the wall. But that is all we are going to be using to clean this driveway. This barrel of hypo cost me less than 15 bucks. Um, and I got it from a company called Delf, D-E-L-F in Manchester, who deliver. But they don't deliver cheap, so you might want to buy 5, 10, 20 a time. Um, and this video will literally demonstrate how for less than... Uh, 50 quid <coughs> excuse me oh allergies already this year for less than 50 quid of bits you can actually do a, a full proper soft wash on somebody's driveway um, that's literally what this video is going to be about and what I will say is that this is nasty stuff it can be proper nasty stuff um, these are my driving glasses my wrap rounds because my full PPE kit is in the back of Nick's van so those are my wrap rounds welly boots I'm wearing a, uh, a proper um, waterproof um, rain jacket here uh, but then again I'm not spraying I'm literally going to be using the can to apply the brush to agitate the hose to rinse um, so we shouldn't get too much splatter and too much kickback uh, of course in the jug there my heavy duty rubber leather gloves now one more point on this dilution strength now this barrel we've assumed is at 10% if it's degraded down so we're going to use one litre of sodium hypochlorite so we use one liter of hypo into here then we'll add a liter of water which will make our solution five percent so then that's so we'll have two liters of solution at five percent then we're going to add another two liters of water which will give us four liters of solution but that'll be at two and a half percent and four liters is more than enough to demonstrate but every time um, you want to halve the strength of the hypo you have to double the amount of water you're adding so a little tip there for you so i'm going to pop you kids on pause and i shall be right back in just a moment so as you can see nasty and green crud everywhere and uh yeah this is this is what we're going to be sorting out and we're just going to stick to the concrete today it will have the same effect on the block paving over yonder but we're not dealing with that uh, right at this moment today is just to get the driveway done before the rains kick in too heavy again Okay guys, so we're back again. Uh, we've got our camera set up in position here. It's a bit windy today. Apologies for the poor sound quality. Hopefully the camera won't get blown over. But we've got our mix here, approximately 2.5% solution. As you can see, we've got the welly boots on, we've got the gloves, we've got the jackets. Normally some type of waterproof trousers if I'm actually spraying, but I'm not spraying, I'm just using my watering can today. So jeans will suffice, we're not going to get too much splatter. And of course, something to protect the old eyeballs from any rogue bits that do splatter back so we're literally just going to apply like so on top of the offending area and then we're going to get our favorite tool i used to do a lot more of this so i used to be a lot more in trim but i don't do enough of this these days so excuse the huffs and puffs and then literally we're just going to get down and work in this in Now 
remember that we're not using, sorry, I'll do away with that sound effects. We're not using um, brand new hypo here, brand new fresh hypo. This has been in my storage bin for well over a year. Um, so the condition of it, as I say, I'm hoping it's about 10%, although I've diluted it to two and a half, but it could be even less than that. But let's give it a whirl. So there's round one. Now we haven't used any surfactant here. You hear the term surfactant used in soft wash. Surfactant is for when you're washing warm and you want your solution to stick to the wall better. So you use some kind of soap like a dish soap like fairy liquid or dawn or something like that just to help your solution stick to the wall better, cling on and not rinse off so easy. We're working a relatively flat surface here so we haven't got to worry about that too, too much. What I will do, let me just uh, try and pick you up and show you here where we've got some runoff and uh, tip the camera down. See where these patches are starting to come up, and that's just where I've got a little bit of runoff and a little bit of spill. That's without even having agitated it. And uh, so, by the looks of it, this is actually better where it's just been left to stand for a minute than the stuff that we've agitated. We'll get right back to that. Let me just balance the camera back up here on the wheelie bin. Gonna have a trusty old wheelie bin. There we go. Cheaper than paying an apprentice. <laughs> but, uh, right, so about there. So now what we're gonna do, once again, garden hose, nothing fancy, just get our regular um, squirter. We're gonna give it a rinse off. You hear about dwell times and all that sort of thing. Um, and as well time will uh, vary temperature, um, strength of the solution, um, all kinds of factors. But generally, as you see here, just a couple of minutes. And I'm hoping you can see the difference in the color of this. And even where we just got some runoff over it going up there. And you can see how green it is still up there where we haven't washed any solution on it. And the literal difference. So. Anyway, I hope you guys are finding this somewhat useful. Uh, but let me just give a quick rinse down here and then I'll show you a few more things. The, the bleach in this, sodium hypochlorite, is basically a bleach. It will break down within a matter of hours, um, especially with the amount of hosing down we're giving it. Um, if you're working near grass, always hose. If this was a grass strip through here, we would soak the grass first, um, so because once the grass has finished drinking, once it's drunk as much as it will, it won't absorb anymore until it's thirsty again. So with that in mind, um, you won't uh, you, you won't damage the grass. Is what I'm trying to say. But it, it, a lot of people out there are like, oh, throw some hypo on it. Yeah, it's cheap and cheerful, and it doesn't cost nothing. Use it for full strength, etc. This is to show you that that's all just toss. You don't actually need to. Um, and I'm quite, uh, quite amused by myself at the moment. I'm going to show you why in just a second. Yeah, it's enough for inch just there for the moment. Let me put my hose gun down. I'm not sure if you can see that from up here. Yeah, you can do. What, I, what I'm amused at is that's the patches that we've cleaned just over there. Um, and as you can see, it's taken all of the algae off of it. It hasn't picked up the lichen and it won't do. It won't take off the hardcore lichen. You can get bio sides that you can use after a hypo and a thorough rinse. Things like Benz, for example, or Algo Clear. Give it a coating of them and that will lift them off eventually. But what I'm amused at is that's the parts where I just scrubbed for a, a minute. This is the part where I did no scrubbing with just the runoff and you can see how it's eaten away the algae already. So anyway, hope you find this uh, somewhat useful, guys. It's how to clean. Um, your, your concrete drive, you can also use it on block paving, um, use it on any hard surface really. Um, and it's how to clean it using an absolute minimum protective gloves, welly boots, garden hose, watering can, disc scrubbing brush. I don't really need to say much more, so hope you find this helpful. Be careful with this stuff, it's not funny when it uh, I have actually had it hit me in the eyeball, and uh, not the eyeball, sorry, that's a lie, hit me in the eyelid, and uh, 
ended up with a big welt on it for a few days. It wasn't pleasant. So that's all I've got to say on the subject. Thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Thumbs down if you don't. As I always say, it doesn't matter to me. You're entitled to an opinion. Comments in the box down below there. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Sunday. Week's coming up. Can't believe I'm doing this on a Sunday. Crikey, blimey. Uh, week's coming up. We're just at the back end of Storm Garrus. So hopefully you lads are going to be able to get out and earn some proper coin this week. Uh, anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Have a great week, guys. Take care. Hi guys, very quick add on to uh, the soft wash video I've just done there. Um, never ever ever mix a bleach with a biocide. Um, very bad, very bad form. Uh, they say it creates mustard gas basically, so just don't do it. Um, if you have hypoed something, bleached something, rinse the hell out of it so thoroughly. Think of it like you're trying to sterilize a. Um, uh, a, a surgery or something like that rinse the hell out of it before you even think of applying a biocide to it um, never use the two bleach biocide never use biocide on a wet bleach is what i'm trying to say because that could end very badly for you um, also sodium hypochlorite for those of you as old as i that remember a time called the last millennia and the uh the bsc crisis the mad cow disease um uh, one of my older customers was telling me that when uh, during this period he worked in an abattoir and his one of his tasks was he had to slaughter a lot of the cattle that were infected with the BSE and afterwards to sterilize the facilities they used um, neat sodium hypochlorite because it was the only thing that would kill the, um, the, the, the virus or whatever it was that was making the cows um, well mad for want of a better phrase and uh, so it just goes to show you how nasty this stuff can be if it can kill uh, a virus that caused such um, well such a tragedy in, in UK British farming history. Once again, thanks for watching guys. Um, be safe. Talk to you all soon.